Well, hello and welcome back, and thanks for coming back. We're deep in downtown Cato Pampos. We're going to use that building there as our starting reference point, and that is the Sofiana Resort and Spa. And one or two people have booked in that hotel over the years, and they all tell us it's very, very nice indeed. Most recently, Lady Alley and, of course, Sir Neil were there and they came for that sneaky little week away in Papos, had a great, great holiday, great weather, and they took the great pleasure in joining us for a couple little times in the Pelican restaurant, and we thank you very, very much for that. We also thank you for being superstar members on the little channel known as Marika and me, and we're looking forward to seeing you two again, and of course the two dads, that's Lord Mike and of course Sir Brian in September. The villa is booked, the flights are booked. So very, very soon indeed, you will be getting back on that big bird and jetting into Paphos. And we'll be waiting especially for you. Some other superstars who recently stayed there to celebrate their 20th wedding anniversary. Yep, Lady Tracy and of course her man, Sir Justin, who joined us for a night of karaoke at Lofty's Bar. You may have seen him a few days back. We had a great, great time indeed. And of course, on that evening, we were joined by two other superstars. That's our Sir Daniel and the girl who's always right, and she's ever, ever so sweet. And that is the girl known as Lady Sherry Wright. And they'll be coming back to Pathos very, very soon indeed again, hoping to stay here for the rest of their lives. And a big, big shout out and a big, big thank you to our latest superstar members. Thank you for joining the little family. Your name is Lady Whitney. And of course, there's a man in her life called Sir Jason. And she often dreams of coming to live in Pampos. Keep dreaming. And I'm pretty sure that one of these days, that dream will come true. And you'll join us in and around Cater Pampos. Dance the chachuchka down the promenade and perhaps sit with us in the Pelican restaurant and have a coffee and chew the fat. There it is, T and J's Fish and Chip Shop. Could be the greatest fish and chip shop in the world, by the way, but it certainly does some great, great fish and chips. It also dibbles and dabbles in sausages and other various delicacies that you get in most fish and chip shops, especially for Lady Andrea and, of course, Sir Mart. Now, See, roadworks everywhere, pavements slowly but surely are coming to fruition. But uh, if you look carefully now, they've got some new planters and some seating areas on the right hand side. There's going to be some parking areas designated, and they are rapidly now progressing. There's no doubt about it. And as we get towards the bottom and the promenade area on the left hand side, you can see they've almost finished the pavement on this left hand side. So, work is coming along quite speedily now because they understand that in around about four to six weeks this has all got to be finished and we believe that it will be. The great man in charge, that's Mr. Fadonis, the greatest mayor in the world, has assured everybody that in the next four to six weeks downtown Cato Paphos will be completed. A lot more work to do in and around Paphos, don't get me wrong, but this area, what we're looking at now, the area that's important to you and to me when we are going around making our videos because of course most people coming to Cyprus are coming for a holiday they'll be here for a week two weeks and this is the area that they will be frequenting so luckily now there's many smooth pavements so if you're on foot on a scooter or perhaps with a push chair or a wheelchair it's now much much easier for you to get in and around Paphos and it's more organized and there won't be cars parked on pavements and all those kind of things now, if you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for now a little bit more of my complete and utter madness as I take you on my travels in and around Paphos. So we're going to go down some streets that we've not been down for a long, long time. So don't click off just yet. Here's a man on an electric scooter coming down a one-way street. But he's got a high for his vest on, so we'll let him off. And he's got a chuckle on his face. Lots of motorbikes around, or what's going on here, anyway? Probably some protest about something or something, that's for sure. We're obviously going to go and cause some bedlam, like a block off the road just by standing in the middle of it. But there we go. What can I say? Not a lot. I'm 
sure there's a policeman or two somewhere. There they are, sitting on their motorbikes. Going to give them a guided escort all around Paphos to cause bedlam. They're protesting about well, something. Anyway, there we go. That's the rant over, Sir Andy. No, he's a lord. Lord Andy of Shropshire. And of course, his girl, Lady Ness. He's got his head down, making a small fortune out of selling Land Rover parts. And of course, in the comments yesterday, I said, I've got an idea, because I've got a Jaguar, and they break down all the time as well. And as he said, they've got many have got similar parts. So there's a business opportunity. If you want to make a couple of bob, sell Land Rover parts or Jaguar parts, because they always, always break down. If you're clever, you go and buy yourself a Toyota. If you're very clever, you go and buy two. And if that's the case, that must mean that your name is Sir Brian. Yeah, he's a clever man. Switch the screens off, put the phone on hold. You are going for a little drive with Mr. Paul. And we are heading towards the Head of Papa's Harbour area on a rather, rather quiet morning. It's a bank holiday, if you understand. So not a lot going on. Well, later will, but not now. Most people are snoozing in their beds, planning their day, thinking I'm going to go sit on a beach and top up my suntan because, of course, that's what Paphos is famous for. Chilling out with perhaps an iced latte or a beer while you sit on a beach and feast your eyes and digest the beauty and the spectacality of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Yes, Sir Jim, there's that magic word again. Cuddle up to Lady Amanda, give her a kiss. Guess what? Very, very soon indeed, you will be jetting into downtown Paphos and hopefully you'll join us and do the Chuchka dance down the downtown Cater Paphos promenade and into the Paphos Harbour where we'll sit and chill in the Pelican restaurant and have a pint, a coffee, or a cocktail, or two. But it's a spectacality of a day, there's no doubt about it. The temperature, if you're curious to know, at just gone 10 past nine in the morning, according to the car, is 19 degrees. Yes, you heard me correctly. They are predicting 22, 23 degrees today, and slowly but surely, the temperature's gonna boot up. You watch, over the next month or so, we're gonna be complaining an awful, awful lot. Here we are, downtown Cater Papa's Harbour area. That pavement on that side is all done as well. That's the big car park on the right, which is totally free of charge. See, not even any of the shops have opened up yet. That's how early and how relaxed it is in downtown Paphos. And there is that blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. One or two people strutting around because they know they're in paradise. One or two people got their fishing rods out, dreaming of that kipper breakfast perhaps, or perhaps a fish and chips lunch. But if I was them, I'd just go to TJ Fish and Chips. That's where you get the best fish and chips in the world. And that's what a lot of the comments were saying on Facebook the other day, that uh, if you want some great fish and chips and you're in Pathos, well, the place to go is T&J's. Pathos Harbour, one or two joggers, jogging through. Restaurants just starting to open up. So if you want a breakfast, get yourself into there for around about 10 o'clock. And then of course it crescendos and crescendos. And of course, as the summer progresses, well, many people are sitting there till they get chucked out at one o'clock in the morning. We now come round the back of the Papas Harbour restaurant. On the left now is a big car park again, which is totally free of charge. We're gonna to go to the end here and look out into the blueness of that blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And of course, this is the brand new sunset viewing point, and this is the Paphos Castle. So if you are coming to Paphos, make sure that you come and explore this area thoroughly because otherwise you might miss one or two things because that is a spectacality of a place to sit and take in the views and some of the fresh air that's coming across the blueness of the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea and at night time once that sun's gone down all this area is lit up the castle's got various different floodlights that flick different lights onto it, the moat looks lovely, and uh, it's a great, great area. When you've taken in all those views, then you pop back into the harbour area, of course, and uh, well, sup on a pint or two, or perhaps a nice hot latte could be there sitting, waiting just for you. Kato Paphos Harbour on a spectacality of a day indeed. Bank holiday weekend, because of course it's Easter, 
and we wish each and every one of you a fantastic time with your family and hopefully you get lots and lots of Easter eggs but don't eat too many of them be careful with those calories isn't it otherwise well save a bit for me shall we say save that little bit for me let's work our way back and go back into downtown Cato Paphos. Lots of it now is one-way streets, by the way. So if you've not been here for two, three years, you're in for a shock when you come back, as us locals are. Because now when we want to go somewhere, it's not quite as easy. Well, it is. We just go the wrong way down the wrong way street because we are locals. But uh, slowly but surely, the police are clamping down on us. And now and again, you find them hiding on a corner. At the moment, they're telling you you're a naughty boy or you're a naughty girl. But we all understand that uh, as time goes on, that will change from you're a naughty boy or a naughty girl to here's your ticket. Get on the internet and pay it. So, when you come out, if you hire a car, please, please take great care when you're driving around and make sure that you're not going the wrong way, down the wrong way, because you never know. There could be a boy, there could be a girl in blue waiting on a street corner. That sounds bad, doesn't it? But anyway, there you go. There could be a boy, there could be a girl waiting on a street corner, especially for you. That's the taxi rank in downtown Cato Papa's Promenade and Harbour area. There's the Harbour restaurant and the apartments above that are having a refurb, which is about time because they wear that little bit scruffy. So if you're looking for accommodation, there's accommodation everywhere around here. And if you want us to go and have a look at it for you, drop it in the comments and guess what? That video will be coming very, very soon indeed. There was a gentleman called Mr. Andy, who I think it's about time was given a bit of a uplift. So from now on, he's gonna be known as Sir Andy Bale. He's been a prolific commenter for quite a long time now. He's coming to Paphos very, very soon indeed. And he was looking for somewhere to hire a car. And he's a great friend of mine. You've heard me talk about him often. Marios from Marios Honda. So that's the main Honda dealer in Paphos. So obviously a man with an impeccable reputation and an honest man. He's got a hire car company. If you want to go and hunt it down, their name is cypresscarrental.com. And if you want his phone number, message me, and of course, I will send it to you. I'm pretty sure if you mention Marika and me, they'll give you a slight discount. But one thing's for sure, you'll get a good and a reliable car. And of course, they'll bring it straight to you. And of course, they'll collect it when you finish with it. So on that note, if you do like what you see, hit that like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness. And please don't forget to go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform because that's where you can gift us that virtual coffee or two. Or of course join us as a super star member like Lady Whitney and of course her partner in her crimes, Sir Jason. Yes, I know it says it's a one-way street, but it's not at the moment. Confusing, isn't it? Thanks for watching. And of course, I'll see you again very, very soon indeed. This is Bar Street, by the way. On a quiet morning, on a bank holiday weekend. And I'll see you again very, very soon indeed. Thanks for watching. Holes from hell. T and J's again, greatest fish and chip shop in the world.